Hello everyone. So today we are going to make uh, mango bawras. Now uh, there are three dishes we can make together. Okay, we have already done custard. So this is also basic custard based. Okay, now uh, the flavors, different three flavors are there in the curriculum. So there is mango, there is apricot, and there is butterscotch. All this have the same way of making. Okay, even for that matter, when we did coffee also, it was the same way we made it. Now uh, here the uh, the difference only will be the flavors. The uh, ingredients are going to be the same. Uh, for this thing, uh, for the measurement, we are going to take one whole ladle of mango. Okay, in the uh, custard. Similarly, with for the apricot, we are going to take one whole ladle and put it into the custard. For the butterscotch, also the same thing we are going to do. So uh, we can with the same recipe we are going to make different different flavors. But today I am just going to give you for the demonstration for the mango bawras. Okay, so let's look at the ingredients. Ingredients used are egg yolk two numbers, grain sugar, milk, gelatin, mango pulp, water for soaking gelatin, whipped cream. We are going to start with uh, gel uh, soaking the gelatin and we are going to put around th uh, 3 to 4 tablespoon of water in that. Mix it properly and put this on a double boiler. So we have discussed this before also that we put more uh, uh, you know uh, whatever recipe gelatin recipe is there of that 3 to 4 amount of water. So I am creating a gel double boiler this will go on the gas range. I am going to start with the uh, egg yolk, uh, first separating the egg whites and the egg yolks. I need two egg yolks for this recipe. And then green sugar around 60 grams which is 4 tablespoons of green sugar mix this properly with the with the help of a whisk okay i haven't switched on the induction i'm just mixing this and then i'm going to put milk inside it i'm not going to put all the milk together i had put a small amount of milk because the milk is warm uh, there are chances that the uh, mixture will get curdled so First put little amount of milk, mix it properly and then you can put the rest of the milk and mix it again. Make sure the egg doesn't curdle in this case. Now I will switch off the gas range, sorry your induction and then I am going to start cooking the mixture. So we are making a basic custard over here. Keep mixing it, make sure every nook and corner has been mixed properly, it is very very important because if any part any base any part of the base is not mixed properly it is going to get st stick stuck over there and there are chances because of that the mixture will get curdled what are we looking at we are looking at a coating of a back of the spoon so they will see like keep on mixing it make sure it, initial stage to it is very liquidy all the froth also will go away and we start thickening up that is when we come to know whether the mixture is done or not if there are too many fumes over here you can always reduce the ga uh, gas okay now see coating of the back of the sun there was no coating over here which means we have to continue uh, cooking it further but you have to be very careful uh, when you're cooking because there's a very thin line between uh, uh, curdling and you know coating back of the spoon every after uh, so after a certain time you keep on changing checking like this see like a coating back of the spoon you can see the fumes over here so as I said too much fumes also are, uh, is also not good because that will immediately increase the temperature of your mixture. See can you see it is slightly becoming thicker now. See now in just a couple of seconds it will be done. 
putting back of the soil. Every time you keep on checking that, that is the best way of understanding whether your custard is done or not. Can you see the layer is thickening? I have removed it from the induction because the mixture is done. I am going to mix the gelatin. This How do you come to know whether the gelatin is done or not? It becomes translucent. Okay, so I have removed it from the gas range now. It's very hot. Make sure you mix it properly and remove everything and put it inside in the mixture. Very important. Okay, because normally people just put this gelatin and the, on top, when they don't mix it, on top there is like, uh, water and base is the gelatin. Say only water goes inside and the gelatin stays in the bubble bond. So just make sure to mix it properly, then only put it inside it. Mix it and this, uh, I'm going to uh, strain this mixture. If there are any impurities for that, I'm going to strain the mixture. And this I'm going to put it on the eyes till it becomes thick and viscous. This is how the mixture looks after it is uh, from, removed from the eyes. There were some lumps, so I am going to whisk it and make sure the lumps are removed. Okay, and because otherwise the mousse also would look like that only. Then the flavor, here the flavor I am putting is mango mousse. Same uh, amount you are uh, going to put for the apricot and the same amount for your uh, this thing also, your butterscotch sauce also. So that is the only difference between all this and then one whole ladle of your whipped cream and you mix it properly. Otherwise there is no other difference over here. Only when you change the flavor is changed. Everything else is same for all the three recipes. In fact you can do it for other recipes also. You can make a butterscotch also. Butterscotch uh, mousse also. You can also make uh, this thing. Custard apple mousse. So different different flavors can be made. Remove the whisk and make uh, always whisk it with the uh, you know spatula in the base it always happens that it stays in the base so just make sure you properly mix it from the base once the mixing is done keep it aside grease the molds with the oil otherwise you wouldn't be able to demold the uh, uh, mango bauras same thing is with the apricot same thing is with the butterscotch grease it and then pour the mixture inside it and let it set in the fridge Okay. Not necessarily you have to take baba molds only. You can take another molds also in which you are able to, uh, you know, demold it. Or you can put it into a uh, ramekin molds also, or glasses also. Okay, so just pour this mixture here, and then let it set in the fridge. Now it's been couple of hours that uh, you know uh, we have set the mousse. I'm just going to demold the mousse over here. Uh, now one more thing uh, I had to tell you is that in the uh, mango pulp I have also put some uh, mango essence and little color so to get a nice color to it okay so that was already there in the uh, mango pulp in apricot you don't need anything so uh, same in the but it's also so you don't need anything just demold it properly make sure you're not breaking it okay like this you have demolded garnished with the whipped cream or swirl of a whipped cream and on top of it a thin this thing of mango pulp and to give it a nice sweet simple color what i am going to do is i am going to garnish this with a uh, mint leaf uh, no hard and fast rule that has to be mint leaf you can do any garnishes what you want if you want to dredge a cocoa powder you can do that also to just give a nice color, I have put mint leaves. This is how it looks and final presentation.